Hello and welcome to this ICT lesson. Today we want to look at how you can apply graphic design in MS PowerPoint to make your slides great, especially to your audience. Because most of the time you present to a large number of people, it could be a meeting or a company meeting, and you need to make unique designs which will please your audience. Some of these unique designs are not found within MS PowerPoint by default. You have to create them. I will take this moment to show you how to do each and every design so that by the end of this video tutorial, you are able to go ahead and apply them when you are making your presentation. I am now in MS PowerPoint and there are a couple of things I want to do here. The first thing is always work on a blank slide so that you are in control of, of the appearance of the slide the way you want. And today I want to make a simple welcome slide for science fair. I will go ahead and choose what art and type here maybe science fair. This is the welcome slide I'm trying to make here. I will increase the size of this text and choose a good font for it. Now I will go ahead and make it bold. Click the format tab here. I will choose here the text field, the, back, the, the background of the text, or the, the area within the borders of each text is called text field. And I will choose here yellow. Then I will go to the outline of this text or the border of the text and choose black. So I have applied a good appearance here for this text. Now the next thing to do is to put text effect to this. And I'm going to use transform under text effect transform. And I'm looking for a nice uh, wrap for this. It is called wrap. We have different types of... <laughs> these ones here. Let me go for that. Next, I want to put here animation from the internet, which will be showing transfer. So I will go and start my Google and search here. Um, animated GIF science fair and such I can try to look for one from any of the websites there is one here let me try this Let me save this one. Now you can see the type is GIF. Now I'll go ahead and save it. Now I'll go back to my PowerPoint and insert picture in the downloads. I will look for that one, which I saved. I think it is this one, and click OK. This picture will not play unless unless this PowerPoint slide is in play mode. 
So I will go here and try to play this. So you can see uh, the picture is is sliding and showing different uh, pictures related to science fair. So this animated GIF will be important in your slideshow when you are trying to introduce the topic. The viewers will be able to see the animation playing. In the next slide here, I want to show you how you can put a nice background for your slide. Some of you, you just copy a picture and paste it on the slide and treat it as a background. No, if you want to make a background in MS PowerPoint, you just right click this slide, a blank area of the slide and click format background. Then you'll get different options here. The solid means this is just a color like that. You can give it a solid color by just changing colors here. And by gradient, gradient it means you can play around. You can play around with these handles. If you click a handle here, you just choose a color for it. Maybe let me choose here grayish. Then come to the last handle and uh, choose somehow uh, something close to black. Then this middle one can be anything related to the, those left and right handles. Let me choose a variation of gray for this. And also here a variation of black. Now with gradient, you just move these handles the way you want. And you can create something like a shadow. And that is what we call gradient. If you, you are not interested with this, finally, you can use patterns here, like these ones. You can use patterns. You can even change the color of patterns, just like that. Finally, I like using pictures, so I will choose picture here. And to get my picture, I will just click here, File. And I will get a nice picture of background. And you can see now, my slide is covered by a background. If I want to put text on top of this background, I need to reduce its transparency. Here, I can just move this handle and keep on reducing transparency up to maybe that level so that my text is able to be seen clearly. So I can play with my background the way I want. I can even put it at 50% uh, there. And I can go on with my design. Next, I want to show you uh, how to use shapes to make pictures look great. So I want to take a Pick a shape here, insert shapes, and look for a nice shape like this one. This is a nice shape. Then I will go ahead and fill this pic this shape with a picture. Let it be clicked like this and choose shape fill. Then you choose picture. Then work offline, I can choose here, picture of Sir Isaac Newton. So you can see inside the shape now, I have a picture of Sir Isaac Newton. I can go ahead and even create another shape here. Maybe 
something like this. For putting information, you can even adjust the fill in this. Let me choose another color here. Go to my outline and say no outline. So, with shape like this, you can write inside it. We can even write text about Sir Isaac Newton. This is the guy who discovered gravity. So I can increase the size of this a bit. And this one can be increased. And maybe right here. Use that font. So here I want to put something like a bullet. So I will go to and click in such shapes and I can get I think a round shape and put, press shift always and put it there, a big circle. And this one I will go and remove the outline of this shape and maybe make it black. And I feel and I can increase the size of this font a bit just like that. So this is some of the things you can do with the shapes and play around in your slide. I will go ahead and do another design. Now I want to write here something. Let me get textbooks. I want to write here. Maybe the word Chicago. Can have Chicago. Chicago City This word I can give it a good font maybe copper black and I can increase the size of this word that is too big maybe I just want this uh, as my presentation welcome slide title now I will go ahead and bring a picture from my folder let me just look for a nice picture of ocean so I want to fill this text with this picture and to do that always stretch your pictures at the corner to do that, I want to put this text on top of this picture first. So I will just click the text at the bottom of the text and click format. And I will choose bring forward. As you can see there. Now I will come and choose the nice place to take a shot of that background. I want a bit of the sky and a bit of the ocean. I will go ahead and click the background first. Press control down as I click the 
I will click the foreground or the text. Remember, if you start clicking the text, it will not work. So you click the background picture, then you come to the text. I will go to this format and click it. And I will choose here merge shapes. And I'm going to choose uh, intersect, this intersect. So finally, you can see my text is filled up with the background picture. To improve the visibility of this title, I will just click the format and under picture border, I can give it a nice red border. And I will still come here in the picture border and increase weight to to something good. I think there it is fine, one and a half. So this is how you can play around with the picture and decorate your text. Another one is this. I want to have another text here. And maybe this time I can right here football maybe football world and I can play around with this text by just increasing its size And I will go ahead and look for another font which looks pretty good, just like this. But this one is difficult to read. Let me just look for another one, maybe this one, Football World. Then I will just uh, come and bring in my picture here from the folder. Mm, this time I'm looking for a picture. Uh, let me just uh, have this picture of grass. And remember, this text must be above the picture. So I will click my text, choose the format and click bring forward to position it here. Let me position it here nicely. You remember my text is black, so I'm choosing the right position to take a shot. So I will, I will click my background first, press down control, click your text, and go to format under merge shapes. This time I will try to get something called Okay, let me do fragment first. Fragment. Once it is fragmented, you click away. After clicking away, you can move this picture away. Or you can even delete it. Shapes such as this have some pieces inside you have to remove. This letter O has some pieces. Remove all of them. By just moving the, the word, the, the text, to remove the pieces. So these, these are what we call fragmented text. You can arrange them the way you want. This design is good because it creates a good impression. So I can even come and change my solid fill here to maybe black. And you see it gives a good impression. I will come to this blank slide and do something else here. I will come and insert a background by just right clicking, choosing format background and choose under pictures 
So you can just choose this desert and change the transparency to normal. Now you can see we have mountains on the right side of the picture. What if I want these mountains to move to the left? So I will have to flip this picture. And to do that, I will not do it here. I will go to the original file. I will create, this is, this is the original file. I will create a copy. And paste it. Then I will open this copy with paint and reduce the zooming here so that I see my picture properly. So I want to move these mountains from the right to the left. I will just come to select and choose select all. Then I will flip this picture under rotate. I will choose flip horizontal and you see the picture's content moved to the left and I will now save. Now I have already done the flipping, I can go back to my PowerPoint now and change this picture and choose the copied one. Now you can see the mountains move to the left. Now I can even come here and choose shapes, maybe square shape and create a good shape here, there and give it a dark blue color. Let me give it a dark blue color and always remove the outline from the shapes. Then I will go ahead under shapes and choose a curve. We have curve here. Curve is nice because you can draw a lot of stuff with the curve. So let me do something here. You can just draw a nice pattern. With this curve. And go around until where it starts and click. Then first remove the outline from the the outline from that curve. No outline. I will give it a yellow fill. Then adjust it a bit. Even if it goes outside the slide, no problem. When it is played, it will only show the areas of the slide. So you can see now I am able to create a unique pattern here. And I can even come to my word art and type here. Always fear deserts. Here I can give it, let me increase this font of it and look for a nice font like Chilla, which looks scary. Then I can just increase it and I can give this, let me try a red color. In the text field, let me try red color. You have to test everything. I think this is fine with me. And now you can see my slide is unique. And if you even if you go anywhere, you want to find a slide which looks like this. 
that is all i have for today please go ahead and try all these styles and always choose the best one which will suit your work thank you for participating i hope to see you soon bye bye